Yeah. Hey, Joe. Hey. P-Dub, boy, we gonna get him on this one. <laughs> hey, no. no time it's gonna be the most enjoyable part of the night. We give everybody some time to sit down and work on either an outline or take a crack at the introduction of your book. And we are going to volunteer each of us or a couple of us to share what we've been doing. So we will start with our very own I like a foundation because we're gonna base everything else off of that. And then I'll go to emotional wellness, financial, physical, social, intellectual, environmental, and occupational. So I'll do each, a chapter on each of the topics. So I said in my preface, um, I wasn't sure what I should call it, but right now it's a preface. It could be anything else. <laughs> um, so I said, our lifetime here on earth is brief when compared to eternity. Between birth and death, we are faced daily with thousands of decisions. It is typically or it is totally your choice to live well. My desire is to live to the fullest while maximizing my age. It helps you to focus. Good. What do you want them to feel when they're reading the book? Um, I want them to feel the pain so they can yeah. relate to their own pain. Mm -hmm and uh, to really search for their spirituality in God mm -hmm. to make it through the challenges of life. So you believe during that time you want to help direct them to God? Like God is the, the way out? Yes. Okay. 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 Good, good, good. So in, in, in your mind, what could you say are like, say three highlights of things you really want if at the end of the book they forget everything else. Three things you want them to walk away with that you want them to hold on to. That's their in faith, your head. Okay. Their faith. And to, I don't want to say enjoy the, the journey, but see God in the journey, in the, mm -hmm. pain, in the painful journey, um, and know that there's hope at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So you, you want to connect them from where they are to the hope that's at the end and show them through your um the person who would probably most likely read the back matter of this book and say you know i'm gonna buy this book and i'm gonna read it it will probably be um a woman okay. who has gone through some challenges okay probably i'm um, an old challenges you know women who've gone through challenges old like older older or past like old wounds or whatever all right. that have not been totally resolved all right. and because it's written from the premise of of um it's written for someone who has you know probably loves the lord is walking it out and has been living life and basically doing fine but really it's really surviving because there are areas in the past that have not been uncovered and dealt with and as a result life continues to be lived um with those things still evident but kind of at bay and so it's like fun you're functioning out of survival as and even though you've had past trauma um so i would say it would be christian women not that it's limited to that but i'm saying based right. on this it would be christian women who have been functioning who've gotten saved who love jesus and everything um but yet there are areas still in in the heart that have not been fully um dealt with yes save love jesus and the whole thing but there's still some things that you know you only can get fully um set free from by actually addressing and dealing with them and talking them out and like la recognizing that they're there and having the lord come specifically to heal those areas so that you're not functioning wounded or you know out of survival so i would say that not to limit it though again i don't want to limit mean, it nobody's limiting their books but <laughs> that's but that I was lesson number one read Get it? somebody wrote your book before it may not be exactly like it but you you can you, you can learn from from those people's books then the next thing that would really help you is 
to begin to, in your book outline, try to write out what your chapters would look like. A skeleton of your chapters. One of the things they taught us was you get your title and then a sentence or two describing that chapter. What is this chapter? And you describe it in a sentence or two. Because in the end, when you're pitching your book, that's what you'll use. You're not going to send anybody your whole manuscript because nobody's going to read that whole thing. They're going to want, hey, what's the introduction like? What's your, your outline of the book? So each chapter. So if I say I have 20 chapters, each chapter, you have a little story as to, you know, in one or two lines.